Hi everyone, hope all of you are doing fine. Wishing all the lovely dedicated fathers out there a very happy Father's Day. Being Father's Day, don't feel like leaving it without doing a cooking video. So today I'll be showing you how to make jacket potato and also roast turkey. So stay tuned, watch and enjoy. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more lovely videos and recipes. Take care, bye. The jacket potato will be stuffed in with sour cream and bacon as well. So it's going to be extra tasty. I'm just um, not sure if I'll record the whole recipe or anything like that. I'm just going to record snippets of what I'm going to do on Father's Day today. Um, here we got some mini dim sims. So just going to steam this. So this is what ready made. I got little, little things along the way. So you might get some tips and tricks as well. This is a steamer. I'm going to spray on some oil spray. In goes the mini dim sim. Spray on some oil spray. Just cover the lid. And just put it on cook. And that's going to be ready soon. Now in order to make the wine a little bit fancy, what I'll be doing is... I'm going to add one to one and a half teaspoons of rose water into this glass first. There we go. So it's got rose petals in the bottle as well. So that's the rose water. It's very nice, strong, concentrated and fragrant. And then next I'm going to add in the apple, peach and lychee flavored cordial. Just a little bit. So that will give a nice, lovely, fruity flavor to the wine. And once that's done, I'm going to pour in some nice, lovely red wine into that. And there we are, everyone. So it's nice, lovely and flavorsome. All right, all right. So here we go. Cheers to all the lovely fathers out there. Ah, it tastes so fruity, so refreshing. So there are different um, flavored cordials you can get at the shop. So pick your own one that you like, um, you know, and personalize it. And you would love it sharing some tips and tricks why not record the whole recipe or anything like that just chilling and recording it so here two uh, potatoes are going to the baking oven because it's gonna make some jacket potatoes so preheat the baking oven to 220 degrees um, so it has to be a fan forced oven for that um, because then you know the heat gets distributed evenly and then you need to rub some oil onto this and um, yeah place it in bake it for 20 minutes and it should be done once 20 minutes are over once it's nice and soft i will uh, tell you the next steps into the baking oven it goes in a pan i'm going to fry some bacon with a little bit of oil oil is optional because um the bacon is fatty anyway let's just check up on our lovely dim sims and they are ready Baby everyone, so just plated up our lovely mini dim sim. The bacon is nicely frying away. So this is for the jacket potato. 20 minutes up, the potatoes have come out of the baking oven. Cut up the turkey into half. So half is for curry, half is for the roast today. I'm going to take the roasting half so we can marinate it. Then I'm going to add in about one and a half tablespoons of vinegar. Two tablespoons of Moroccan spice. So this will be about 800 grams, I think this portion here's a maggie seasoning I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of that that'll give nice flavor to the meat and for turkey meat it's always good to put some meat tenderizer so this is about one tablespoon of meat tenderizer that'll help it become nice and tender one tablespoon of thick mint sauce so mint one teaspoon fish sauce one tablespoon sweet chili sauce one tablespoon soy sauce so it's making it nice and flavorsome so lovely marinade two teaspoons of hot chili sauce and one tablespoon of green chili sauce so nice and colorful give it all a good rub together before giving it a rub gonna add in one teaspoon of turmeric then can season it with some salt and pepper as well i'm going to add in half a teaspoon of coriander powder and there it is everyone look at this colorful sight so lovely so colorful so flavorsome so i'm going to give it all a good mix and place it off into the baking oven uh, for about 150 degrees about two hours would do it or until it's nicely cooked so have to keep taking it out in between turning it and placing it back in once the potato is nice and soft and come out of the baking oven we can just take off the inner bits of it and make a hole inside so this is the inner bits 
potato shouldn't be too soft and soggy or you won't be able to you know it'll start breaking apart so it should be firm as well and then you can put in about one to one and a half teaspoons of sour cream along with the bacon that we prepared into this and then we got to top it off with some shredded cheese and then place its lid on top oh gosh these dim sims are very tasty indeed <laughs> There we everyone, so giving this turkey a nice good rub, you can use a fork and just pierce through it as well, so the marination enters inside nicely, but since I put the meat tenderizer in there, that might not be necessary, just giving it a good rub and let it marinate and sit there for an hour at least nicely, look at it, nice and lovely. And then we can put it off into the baking tray and then bake it 150 degrees for about two hours would do it until it's nicely cooked according to your personal preference there it is everyone so we are going to place this off into the baking oven just remembered i've got these sprigs of rosemary that i'll be adding in along with the turkey as well so not at the moment because now I've left it open into the baking oven. Once it's nicely roasted and cooked up, I'll put this in, cover it up with an aluminium foil and then smoke it so that nice flavor will go through the meat. Now our lovely jacket potato is ready. Garnish it with some fresh herbs. And let's look at it nice inside with that stuffing. It's nice and flavorsome. This other one. Just garnish it with some fresh herbs. nice and lovely see in terms of the turkey once it's partly cooked like this i'm going to turn it over to the other side okay, everyone so just turn the turkey over to the other side so it's looking nice and juicy just going to put these sprigs of rosemary in there and then cover it with an aluminium foil and put it back into the baking oven to cook up nicely that'll make it even more nice and tender and look at this amazing sight everyone so it's nicely taking shape so just going to turn it over to the other side and cook it for another 30 minutes and this should be nicely done look at it and there it is everyone the lovely turkey is nice and ready and nicely baked so we're going to plate this baby up father's day special baked turkey and there we go it's looking nice lovely and juicy very tender flavorsome and tasty and along with the turkey the lovely jacket potatoes are also there it's a lovely meal and pour some of the gravy on top as well so give it that extra juicy look look at it so nice because the gravy is nicely infused with that smoky rosemary flavor as well so look at this lovely steamy jacket potato everyone I'm just carving up the turkey turkey, and a turkey. I never I never see a turkey before mm -hmm. well now we have seen a turkey mama so juicy mm. it's very juicy it's not dry or hard or anything like that it's easy to chew and easy to swallow um very tender not like uh, steak or beef you know it's so tender maybe adding that meat tenderizer into it also helped but amazing tasty Apart from that, once again, wishing all the lovely dedicated fathers out there a very happy Father's Day. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more lovely videos and recipes. Take care. Enjoy. Bye.